Hi there, Sanna here. Um, I'm going to create a layout, scrapbook layout from start to finish today and I'm going to use my November um, The Wild Hair Kits Deluxe Kit and um, also I'm going to base my layout on this sketch. This is the Wild Hair Kits monthly sketch. I hope you can see it there. So I'm going to use that as my starting point. And I've thought to use the Heidi Swap um, Honey and Spice Harmony paper. I really like this green color. On the back side it looks like this. So I'm going to save a little bit of this for another page or a card. And also I've added a sheet of white cardstock. This is from my own stash. I didn't have any cardstock on my in my kit, so this is from my own um, product that I have available. And what I've done already is I've used circle die cut dies to cut some photos. I've chosen crazy face photos for this particular layout because I thought it would be fun. So these are not connected, these are just crazy faces. Um, that my, me and my children and my husband always do when we take family photos. So I've die cut them in different sizes with my die cutting machine. And um, I have five. I think the sketch has only four, but I chose to use five because I got these funny faces here. And um, also I'm planning on using the Willow um, one Canoe, Two Willow collection um, die cut shapes for this layout and I'm going to try this um, die cut piece um, aka stencil by Heidi Swap. I'm still not convinced that this is a stencil because this feels like paper, like chipboard, thin, really really thin chipboard. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, so I'm just going to start. So first I always cut away this strip here because I don't need it. So let's get rid of that. I could also use a paper trimmer but I prefer the scissors today, totally. Free to choose what, what you prefer. Yes. The result is almost the same. And then I'm just ripping the paper off here and I'm going to add that over there and then I need a larger piece here and I'm going to do it this way. If you rip the direction that I did, like upwards, then you don't have the white corner there. It will have the color on top. But if you do it the other way around, then you will end up with the white at the end. But I don't want that here because I don't think it looks good against the white background. So I want it just to be green. That's why I ripped it this way around. And I'm going to do the same over here. So the part that I want to have is going to be this one with the green edge. So I'm just ripping the paper very randomly. So that's it. And I'm left with this piece which is perfect for card making or other layouts. Still can do a lot with that. So and that's my basic starting point. And if this is too much, I can always move this this way and cut away the, the paper strip there. And then let's just arrange these a little bit. Let's take a look at the sketch. I can't remember. Okay. So this would be there. There probably. I'm going to add three here. Then this one here and then somewhere, I don't know yet, somewhere here or there, the fourth one, probably here, because that looks funny in there. Okay, so that's the basic idea. But first I want to add all kinds of mixed media goodness onto the background. So I'm 
planning on doing it with this. We'll see how that goes. So I need to remove everything. And I'm just going to make some markings with a pencil that I can erase off later because I want to know approximately where the paper and the photos will be so that I can do the decoration on the background accordingly. And on the, this side too, let's put the, that there. So just, you know, to give me an idea where I can move around. So I think I'm going to use um, Distress Ink or Distress, Distress Oxide with this one. Yeah. So I've got a Distress Oxide. This is the yellow tone. And then I've got some Distress Ink in green. We'll see how that works. <clears throat> so I'm going to go and add some... I'm probably going to move this paper a little bit backwards because I think it's too little of a white space here. I want to have a little bit more. So we'll be moving approximately, I don't know, half an inch over there. And then I'll be adding some rose patterns there. Uh, let's do yellow first. So let's see how that goes. So I'm just dabbing the ink onto the paper through my... That's a nice pattern. And let's add some here. Let's do the same rows here too. And then somewhere here too, in between the circles. I really like that. And let's add a little bit here. Okay, so if you're using inks, ink pads with this, it works really nicely and this gets a really nice color. So I could also cut this apart and use this on cards or layouts on its own. So I think I still need to test the spray ink part. But I don't know if that works, but we'll see. But I'm just adding a little bit here and there. Okay, I think we're good to go. A little bit over here. Just very random patterns. And then let's move to the next color. And maybe I can add a few leaves in here. We'll see. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. And let's do some here. Like this would be a leaf pattern in here. Or something random. And then let's do that over there too. And some over here. I think that's nice. That looks great. And that's it. We've got our stenciling done. And this turns really nice with the inks. So this would be perfect for a background, for a card. But I'm not going to use it just yet. And then I was thinking I could use from my, I think this was my September kit, the flower market stamp set. I might add some stamping there. Just something fun. I've got my black ink here. 
enjoy your life, lovely bloom and grow, love. Naturally beautiful, that will be a funny sentiment to add to the layout. Maybe also there is beauty all around. Let's do that one. And you make me happy. That are good. Those are good sentiments. And then just take a block. And on this sketch there are the, the these images go from up towards the lower edge. There are not much that go this way around. But since this is a sentiment stamp, I'm going to use it this way around. I'm just going to try and keep approximately to the layout idea, maybe at that there. Just do some random stamping here and there. And it doesn't matter if something is not, or it doesn't matter to me if you can't see every single stamped image, image perfectly because that's part of the fun. Just add it for texture and interest, not so much for the actual sentiment. Let's just check that I'm stamping the right way around because that is important to me at least. Naturally beautiful. Let's do that there. And one here. One here. So that we have stamping here and there. And then the last one. And this says there is beauty all around. Let's Put one over here, one there, and one here. Okay, so I've got my basic background done. I think I'm done. I don't want to overdo it this time. <coughs> And then, let's see how that works. I love the colors together. They look really nice. And then just go there with the photos. Let's put that over there because of the colors. And then this could be the centerpiece because the whole family is on this one. Then put this here. And then this one here, maybe. somewhere here like that and this one goes here so that's oops you can't see the whole layout hold on okay now it's better so that's that would be the layouts basically I'm almost done I just need to add some um, I've chosen from the willow collection the flowers because I thought they would work nicely with the background stenciling and let's see if that works still and then as my title I'm, I've chosen this one this is the die cut also from the willow die cut shape package and it says simple pleasures and has this gold foiling on it so I'm going to put that over there I think yeah and then just add maybe some droplets, ink droplets or something, and that's that. Maybe add some journaling there, and I'm done. Now to find the perfect place for these, because I want these to show too. Really, really like these flowers. But I don't want to hide all the stenciling, so I need to figure out how to make this work. Like that, probably, and then I'm tempted to put it over here, but then again, maybe like this. I want to see the flowers. Like 
this maybe. That. I think that's good. Because on the other side it looks a little bit strange if I put it here, I think. We'll see. Let's try that one. Hmm. Well, that would also work. And then I could do some journaling here. Hmm. I think I'm done. Okay, let's take some adhesive. So I'm using a liquid um, glue, always for adhering everything on my pages, because I want them to stay put for like forever, and I can erase that away. But if you prefer uh, tape, that's totally okay. I just like to use this because I know it will never come off. And um, let's adhere this one over here. And then do the photo over there on top of that. So really simple and easy. Okay, so that's there. And let's do the other side. But I'm first going to erase all this all these things away here. paper first and a little glue of this type goes really a long way once it sticks it doesn't come off anymore okay so that's there and let's do this away too there's still a little line in there. Okay, one, two, three, and four. I don't know if I'm going to do put that over there or if I should just put it somewhere else. Maybe I'll add it there. Hmm. I'm quite tempted to put it over there. Maybe like this. Or like this. Let's put it like this. I like it better on the other side, so let's put it there. So there's one more funny face in there. And then I think I'm going to use 3D foam to add this onto the page. And then I've got this gorgeous sequence, which I totally forgot about in my kit. And I'm definitely going to add those here because they will look really nice with the page on the page. Okay, so that was here. I love these flowers. These are so pretty. I really, really like them. And they work really well with the Heidi Swap paper too. So let's put that on place first. And then this one. And the flowers. Let's put it like that. Over there. And then this one. And I'm almost done. This is a quick layout. Put that a little bit more towards the bottom because I still need to sneak in my title. And this one I'm going to adhere with 3D foam. So I've got my 3D foam. This is from Scrapbook Adhesives. And I'm going to just use a few pieces for 
you can also, when I find my scissors there, I can cut these apart to use just smaller pieces here and there. That's enough. Okay, and let's put the title in here. Simple pleasures. And now for the fun part, I've got beautiful, beautiful sequins in my kit. Hold on, I'm going to look that them up. What are they? Where are they here? They fit perfectly. And then I need tweezers. And let's do some greens, I think. It's too random. I think random looks good. So we'll see what comes out. And we u will use those. So let's put one over here. And I'm using the same glue. I'm hoping this will they will stick with this. And I think it will work really well. Let's put one here. Let's put that over there. And then the smaller ones, like one here, and one here. And this adhesive dries clear, so it won't be, you can't see it anymore, when it, once it's dried up. And then some pink, let's put one pink over here, just for a fun detail. Go on. And there's one more tiny one. Let's put some brown too, maybe there. Just adding really randomly. I'm not planning this. I'm just going with the feeling where I think it fits the best. And one big one. Let's put one over here. I really like this one, these big ones. These are gorgeous. And the middle size goes over there. Go on, stick to the paper now. And then one pink one. And I'm actually almost done. Then I just need to add some journaling to the page and that's it. I really like this sketch can do so much with it. It would be also perfect for a card design. So I might actually try and make a card with this with this sketch too. Would be fun to see how that looks like. And then let's take one brown one over here. And just a few here and there somewhere on the page. There was a place. And I like to add them in clusters of some kind, so I'm trying to add one or two next to each other. It's more appealing to the eye that way than just adding single ones here and there on the page. Okay, let's put that there. And a green one next to it. And maybe one just here. I think that's enough. Don't want to overdo that. Oopsie. Stay there. Okay. And these ones I'm just going to save for later. And that's it. That is my layout. And I just I'm just going to add the journaling in the end. And I've got all the sequins. Can you see that in the lighting? The lighting is really bad today. I'm sorry, it's quite late already. 
but I'll take better photos for for the end of this video so you can see it. Okay, so that is my take on the November sketch at the Wild Hair Kids uh, page and uh, like I said I'm using my November kit for this layout and that's it. I'm done. I'm really happy with this page and I really really like this sketch. Really a really nice sketch. You can do lots with it. I hope you enjoyed this short video and we'll see each other with another project later this month. Month. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye! Thank you.